Welcome and hello my beautiful Virgos, Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of July the 11th to the 17th, 2022. Please know that these cards are just a guide, don't live your life by them and know that the energy uh, may not resonate with each and every single one of you but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Let's see what we have here for this week my beautiful Virgos. Starting off with your first energy card coming in behind you you've been given the card of the boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall don't you love that what a great way to start your week so some of you may be receiving an inheritance you could be receiving a remittance check you could be receiving um, some sort of a settlement you could be receiving anything that's coming in here it could be a raise uh, a bonus of some sort or you could be winning something it could be a windfall maybe you bought a ticket uh, don't run out and take my word on it but whatever the case is you're definitely going to see a leveling up and amping up and an improvement in money or property you could be inheriting something maybe you're inheriting some property through a relative uh, that they wanted you to have so this is a beautiful way to start your week okay we have the Emperor coming in behind us the seven of Pentacles and the ace of Pentacles beautiful cards here so when I talked about this card the boat um, it uh, you know it means that things are good coming into you the ace of Pentacles are doors of opportunity that are going to allow you to do what you want to have that freedom that security financially to know that you're able to move forward and you're going to be able to see some prosperity and it's usually wonderful opportunity but a significant abundance coming in and again, as I said, it could be anything. It could be a promotion, it could be a salary increase, and maybe even this unexpected windfall or a winning that you're going to receive. So if some of you are starting a new business, chances are this is a great time to do it. And you may have been waiting for some resources, financial resources to come in so that you could do this. So I think you're, some of you will find that you're going to be much happier right now because you're going to have those reinforced. Uh, resources. If you're making an invest investment, consider all your opportunities before you sign on the dotted line because you could be uh, signing legal documents and contracts or correspondence at this time. It's, an, it's excellent luck, it's improving health, but it's also about some of you that might be going out and creating this improvement in your life by taking a course, going back to school, getting your degree in something so that you're leveling up your, your resume to put you in that next income bracket and making uh, you know your job look more appealing to be hired on those grounds. You are a leader. Perhaps you're going to have this ability to open your own business or be in charge of a department or a team. Um, I think that you're being very logical, you're being very organized and with that comes great confidence and power with that. So I think you're stepping up, you're rebuilding, you're building a foundation for your future that you want to know it's going to be there a legacy something that's going to be secure and something that's going to be long and lifetime standing and here you are planting your seeds with the seven of pentacles you might have put out a resume a proposal doing all the right things uh recreating and um <clears throat> doing a new resume perhaps adding in addition all these beautiful things that you're doing to improve your life but this is a great way to start off your reading um, you have the power to do pretty much what you want now with the emperor and you're you may be waiting to hear how things were received and how they're going to react don't worry this is needless worry you've done everything right and the news you here is going to be powerful uh, really beautiful cards here so I do believe you're moving forward in a very positive direction and for some of you you're going to have the financial resources here to make yourself more secure and happy Wow <clears throat> diamond yes you'll be receiving a give or giving a precious gift so this is coming in in your center position so maybe some of you are partnering up with somebody maybe you're getting a commitment uh, for a long-standing position in someone's life it could be a romantic uh, position or it could be a business position but the diamond is an amazing thing it starts off as a piece of black coal and it ends up this beautiful iridescent uh, luminous beautiful promising stone <clears throat> so I think you could be also feeling as though you may have been a diamond in the rough yourself but now you're starting to go through this wonderful transformation and you're now able to have confidence and, and exude all that beautiful beautiful uh energy that you have to transcend out into the universe and you're going to receive the same thing back now someone could be asking you for their hand in marriage or a commitment here uh, there's definitely going to be commitment of some sort here for some of you in a partnership so you could be stepping up and giving someone a very precious gift as well so what do we got here we talked about money we got that page of pentacles justice 
card and the seven of swords you know again i see money here uh i see a leveling up i see prosperity i see abundance i see good news coming in that's what this page brings we all know that pages are messengers and this particular page comes with good news about finances so um you know and it's going to come in soon your plans are going to be moving successfully forward at a steady pace uh you could be taking a new interest uh or a passion that comes in and again I said to you earlier you could be taking uh, opening your own business or taking a degree or getting taking a new um, a new course of some sort that again will level you up in your income uh, you're doing the research now you're, you're doing things that are going to help you invest your money in the best way or invest your time in the best way so that you can make the money that you want to make Again, it's about materialism in your life, and this is good news. You're going to hear about good news, and maybe it's good news about <clears throat> something through property or a winning or an inheritance or a windfall you're going to hear. If, you've, if the news is coming in through, the, uh, through a legal situation, justice is going to be served, and guess what? It's going to be waived in your favor. If you've been advocating, promoting, defending yourself, and uh, you know, challenging yourself to uh, receive something that you justifiably deserve, you're going to get it. So clear and concise here. Know that if you've been dealing with some opposing energy here where you felt the need to stand up for yourself, defend yourself, you're going to come out ahead of the game. Whoever this was had been decept de deceptive to you. Uh, the Seven of Swords is, again, um, you know, someone who doesn't have the integrity. It's called the cheater, the liar, the thief card. Um, and someone may not have shown you the truthful side, or they finally showed their truthful side of themselves. They've been hiding and, and um, in this illusion. Um, they're going to get caught. I mean, look at the picture of the crow screaming its lungs out. Somebody's going to, you're going to either, you're going to have this epiphany and this uh, wake up call to see what this person was like and now you're going to get the justice that you need um you could be fighting for money maybe you were in a, in a position with someone here in a partnership here with this individual and you you've parted ways and you deserve what you've committed to what you've invested into this relationship uh whether it was a relationship in business or a relationship romantically you're going to find you're going to come out ahead and i do believe you're going to get the money you're going after so this is good news for those of you that are involved in this type of situation okay all right coming in towards you you've got the cup you should accept valid criticism okay we've all been there you know uh, there, and often valid criticism it refers to someone who truly cares about you they're watching from the outside looking in and they're watching your actions and what you're doing and maybe they're saying you know what they don't want to see you slip and trip uh, so they're going to step up and say, hey, you know what, um, I've learned from my experiences, I've been there, done it, um, I, this is what worked for me. So it can be sort of a, a type of criticism you might, uh, you might feel, but I want you to be big enough to accept it because often valid criticism is for our greater good and we need to let go of our ego, step down off of that, uh, that cliff of ego um, and accept this criticism because it's going to be beneficial and help you. Coming in with that, you've got the, another page, the Page of Swords, you've got the Knight of Wands, and you've got the Happy Ever After Ten of Cups. So things are coming up great for you. Um, I do believe that, you know, you're going to hear some information here that could stop you in your tracks. It could be in the form of something that you heard here uh, with the Seven of Swords. It could have been something uh, that you heard uh, that you didn't like. Somebody blurts it out and says, well, you know, this person's a jerk, this person's a liar, this person's been stealing from you, or whatever the case is. Could be anything. Um, you're going to hear about it, and you might not like it at the time. But don't attack the messenger, because this message was meant for your ears. Or it could be something that comes in the form of a truthfulness in a legal issue. Um, so take it. Don't be afraid of it. I think you're, it's going to give you freedom now to, uh, to, to be able to go on the next step of your journey in a much e easier and lighter way. Uh, this is about, you know, being able to take this uh, information in and not, uh, and not be uh, offended by the way you received it. I do think that you're going to be moving forward because of this. It may slow down the pace a little bit while you deal with this issue. Knight of Wands, something suddenly is going to shift here. Uh, new and fast moving energy comes in after this and you're going to have to act on it. You might have thought about this situation and said, you know what, I need to do this. Uh, be careful what you sign your name to. Uh, read between the lines. It's very quick action and it's almost like an urgency that you have to go and do this. So don't shelve it. You need to step up. But don't rush. Don't over, over 
indulge yourself into something that you may regret later. I think it's going to give you the freedom to beat your own drum and go forward. There's new opportunities coming in. And also this is indicative of your knight in shining armor that comes in very quickly. But I always say beware. Uh, he makes a, this. He or she can make a very quick and impressionable fast entrance but they can leave just as quickly too but this could be a hot and heavy relationship a new one for some of you that's coming in that may lead to happy ever after so the ten of cups comes in and says you're going to feel joy and bliss harmony and peace within your family circle there's going to be restoration here in in any uh situations that you've had that were uh, maybe unresolved issues with family members are now going to be resolved and things are going to be smoothed out and you're going to be happy again. This is also the card that says always keep in mind that there will be a rainbow at the end of that storm and there could be a pot of gold waiting for you because I said here you've got money, property, inheritance, winning or windfall that could be coming in. A beautiful gift of commitment as well. So I think the gifts are abundant this week for some of you Virgos. I do see transformation. I see money coming in. I see a power uh, being able to move forward and, and anything that you've been working on is going to be waved in your favor. So it's beautiful. When this Ten of Cups comes up, it's happiness and harmony within your family circle. Uh, it's being able to move forward again and be happy. You've got the white raven spirit. <clears throat> and the white raven spirit says, trust in the magic. So beautiful, beautiful card. So nothing in the universe is random. And I say this all the time. Things are meant to be. All right. We're, we're put on the path. We, we meet people that we're meant to be with and the situations around us. And know that coincidences have a reason and a meaning. So right now you're asked to align with the highest good intentions and you will come to see you'll come to see that things are being guided towards you. Uh, align with the light and you're going to start to recognize that all is working together harmoniously in ways the eye can't always see and the mind can't always comprehend. The universe is conspiring on your behalf right now, drawing you to the light and bringing you to the magic and miracles that are your birthright. Now is a time to trust in that magic of the world that is everywhere and in all things. Pay attention to how things come together. It's almost, you're going to feel like it's almost like magic and you're going to see the hand of the great spirit arranging things in your favor. I love this card. So it's beautiful. <clears throat> There's definitely something happening here. I think it's divine intervention. I think you deserve the happiness that you're getting. I think the universe and the powers that be are saying, hey, guess what? We're here. We've got your back. Trust, trust yourself and trust that you're going to get what it is you want because you are aligning yourself for your greater good. Keep walking in that light, my beautiful Virgos. Keep keep doing your affirmations. Keep doing your scripting. Meditating, you can manifest what it is you want and believe you deserve it and you're worthy of it and it'll come. So here we go. Let's see what we're doing here for our, we're going to receive here for our verification messages. Spirit and guides, what does Virgo need to see, know, and expect? Okay, let's see what we've got with that beautiful abundance coming in here with the Ace of Pentacles and you taking charge of your life again and doing all the right things you need to do. Double message, Page of Swords. You're going to hear about some information uh, that it will <clears throat> that will be the truth coming out. I think you're going to be moving forward in a positive direction because of it. Don't get caught up in idle gossip though this week. Um, I do think you're going to hear something, but it will be meant for your ears. Page of Pentacles, the Justice, and the Seven of Swords. You've got the beautiful High Priestess. Um, you know, trust in your instincts. Trust your uh, trust, trust your inner voice of wisdom. Do your research here. When you get into that illusion part of your life where you start to doubt yourself, uh, do your research. Find out why you feel that way. Make the changes. Go through that transformation or dig deep to research information that you need that will put your mind at peace. Okay. What is it you need to know? Maybe you needed to find out there was some deception in your life and you did. And you, you, you stood up for yourself and you realized the moves you were going to make would improve your life. Um, you know, it can be anything. Thing. Trust that little inner voice of wisdom. You are honing in and tapping into your higher self of intuition right now. This is beautiful. Now, coming in with the Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and that beautiful Happy Ever After card. Look what you've got. 
the nine of pentacles walking in your garden of abundance keeping your eyes open to reach out and, and open those doors of opportunity coming in i love when this is coming in with the ten of cups as well opportunities are opening up for you and you're definitely going forward in a positive direction keep your eyes and mind open to the differences uh being you're being uh, asked to do you could be getting out in nature more as well uh you could be surrounding yourself with that beautiful element of grounding yourself right now as well but i always say this is this is walking in your garden of prosperity and you're going to get it because the happy ever after card has shown itself here as well so my beautiful virgos it looks like a very good productive week for you or the energy coming in in the near future so you're going some of you are going to be receiving some great gifts here uh you know could be commitment gifts of commitment or gifts of money and uh and a good foundation there of material uh success so enjoy your week keep yourself uh and put yourself in your higher self here know you're worthy of all of this coming in and trust your intuition see you soon and know that i always wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week and i send you lots of love and many blessings again see you soon